everyone, today I'm going to be showing you my puzzle in Scratch. So let's get started. Um, and I'm also going to be teaching you a little bit of how I made my puzzle. So when I click start, it's like this. It's all jumbled up and you have to put the pieces in the right order in the square. And if you click space, there's this little picture here. So that's cool. Um, now I'm going to be showing you how I made it. Um, uh, first thing you will have to do is obviously choose your image and cut it. I use this website, which the link will be in the description, that you can cut and make like puzzle pieces. It's really cool. So after you've gotten your puzzle pieces, you can one by one, like, upload them on here. Just click that, upload them. And then um, you can start jumbling them up into, like, pieces like this. And then what you'll have to do is um, get the green, uh, get um, one clicked, and then uh, go to piece. You won't have to change the numbers because it'll just count it from where it is. So that's a good thing. Start. Oh, and I'm going to be showing you how I made the title page and everything. And if you still need more help, you can look at my puzzle for reference. And you can, like, do your own puzzle. Okay, so I'm going to be showing you the front page because um, the pieces don't really have much. So... Let's uh, get to the start button, shall we? Okay, so there we go. I'm using, and also I'm using this website called Scratch, which where you can like code games and make like these sprites that function in your game. So let's get right into the start button. So here, as you can see, the start button changes color. And the, the yellow part lights up because we're using that piece of code. And um, this code is responsible for making it change color. Um, here, as you can see, I made a start button and I just copied and pasted it in another costume. And then I just like switched up the colors and everything. Um, and uh, I coded them. So when the sprite click, broadcast start game. So practically start the game. When I receive start game, hide. So we don't want it like peeking through in the puzzle. No, no, no. <laughs> when fly click, show. We obviously want to show it. Go to front layer. It's in the front. And um, forever, if touching mouse pointer, then switch costume to start button to so if it's like if it's touching, then it'll switch to this one. If it's not, else switch costume to button one. Button one. Perfect. Okay, now let's talk about um the the pieces a little bit more. When I receive start game show, so we don't want it to be showing in the front page. We add a little piece, add an extra piece of code, hide, and when I receive start game, show. Because we don't, okay, one flat click, that's the start. We don't want it to look, so we hide it. And then when this button is pushed, because um, in the button code, there was a broadcast start game. So when I receive start game, it shows it. And the same for the front page. Um, And I did the same for um, the other ones too. Uh, let's talk about the little preview that I was talking about. Little preview. Here's the little preview that you can just drag around here. So when space key press, set drag mode to draggable. You have any piece that you need draggable has to be has to have this code. You don't have to actually put it. As you can see, there's no draw mode piece there. You can just like put it in and then try it a little. 
and then pick it up. And then the drag mode will be automatically set. Uh, I just put it there for like convenience, so you'll, so under it's understandable. Okay, so when space key pressed, it shows. When space key pressed, it space key pressed, it shows, and then uh, it goes on the front layer because we don't want it in the back. And then go to the front layer. So whenever space key is pressed, it always starts off at x position zero, y position zero, which means it's practically in the middle. That's cool. And when H key pressed, so when H key pressed, it'll just hide it. That's simple. Okay, now let's talk about the backdrops. Here, it looks like this little square is this square, but it's not, it's like, it's not true. There's two backdrops. Uh, backdrop number one, the start backdrop. So when it starts, this is a backdrop. And then the puzzle backdrop, which has this big square in the middle, as you can see, not the same, not the same backdrop. So let me show you how I did that. So when clicked, switch backdrop to start. When I receive start game, switch backdrop to puzzle. That easy. I hope you liked my puzzle. See you next time.